Hey Blather folks, Alicia here. Today we are talking about your options when it comes to measuring your heart rate. And if you're new here, I work for Wilder. We are a company that uses the adventure ready model to get you ready for adventures of all kinds, from running to skiing to everything in between. Now, when a lot of people first get into heart rate training, they have a lot of questions about what device they should be using to get accurate readings. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about your options, especially talking about the differences between a heart rate strap and the optical heart rate monitor you might have on the back of your sports watch. There are definite pros and cons to both of these models, so we wanna make sure that we're picking the right device for the right situation. Let's start with the heart rate strap. Now, these are a very old technology that we've been using for a very long time, and they are 99.6% accurate if you are wearing them correctly. They have these sensors on the back here and what they do is actually pick up the electrical signal from your heart and they determine the amount of time in between each of those impulses and use that to instantaneously figure out what your heart rate would be if you kept that same beat pattern for an entire minute. The drawback, the biggest drawback to these things that I've heard is that they can be a little bit annoying to wear. In order to wear them properly, you need them on your chest against your skin, directly underneath where your sports bra sits. And you need them tight enough that those contact points always remain in contact with your skin. But you wanna make sure they're not so tight that they restrict your breathing. And I have had these straps on after a long run, uh, had them fall down halfway through. I've also had them not pick up a signal at first before I've started sweating. And that's because water on your skin is gonna really help that electrical signal transmit from your heart to the reader. So you can always put a little bit of water on them to start off with, or if, if you need to, you could use a little bit of spit too. I have done that before. But once you get this bad boy on properly, you are going to get a very accurate reading and it's going to be instantaneous. So the moment that your heart rate increases, you will see it. Now, if you're gonna use one of these, you're also gonna need something to pick up that signal so you can see what it is. The cool thing is most phones these days will pick up a signal from a heart rate monitor as long as the heart rate monitor is transmitting in a language, if you will, that your device can pick up. You can also have one that works in conjunction with your sports watch. So I have a Garmin sports watch here and I have a Garmin heart rate monitor and so the two talk to each other without me having to do any kind of setup at all. Now a lot of these sports watches nowadays at almost every price level come with a optical heart rate sensor on the back of the watch. So if I bring this in here Oh, oh, oh. You can see how there's these three lights. These light up, there we go, there. And they give a green light um, when they are activated. And then there's a sensor in the middle and that sensor actually picks up the reflection of those that green light through your skin and back. Now, how this measures is slightly different than the heart rate strap. They're not actually picking up an electrical signal. Instead, it's picking up when there's an increase of blood flow through your arteries. It's sensing that because more of that green light is going to be absorbed by the hemoglobin in your blood, and so less of it is going to be, less of that light is gonna be reflected back into the watch. Now, this is really nice because, to be honest, having something just on your wrist instead of having something on your chest can feel a lot more comfortable. For starters, there's a lot more ways this signal can be interfered with. So they say that rhythmical movement can be misinterpreted by your watch as heartbeats. So think anytime you're walking or running, your watch may be interpreting those movements and counting them as additional heart rates. If there's any dirt or sweat on the sensor that can interfere with it picking up the return of light to the watch. And finally, just having a large amount of blood flowing underneath the sensor. So if you are working really hard and you've got a lot more blood circulating through your system, you might have this watch over or underestimate your heartbeats per minute. Now, that's a huge problem if you are trying to use zone training to improve very specific 
specific aspects of your physiology when it comes to running. So what does that actually mean for using these devices for your training? Well, what I recommend and what I do personally is I will use this heart rate strap when I'm doing interval-based training, when it's really important that I have my heart rate in a very small and specific range of numbers. If I'm instead doing something long and slow at a lower intensity where I maybe have an upper cap on how fast I want my heart rate beating, but I don't have a lower cap, then I would use my heart rate watch instead. And to be honest, if you don't have either device yet, I would probably recommend that you get a heart rate strap that connects with the phone you already have to begin with to help you with your zone training. And then if you want to, in the longer run, you could get pick up one of these heart rate watches. And then finally, if you're using an indicator like your resting heart rate first thing in the morning to know if you're recovered enough and if you're adapting to training, I would rely on using that optical heart rate monitor to look at that kind of data because you're not moving, your heart's at a lower heart rate and you've got less blood running through your system. So you're gonna get enough accuracy with this unit to be able to look at those variables. If you've got any other questions about heart rate training, I'd love for you to send them to me. Otherwise, I hope you have a wilder week and we'll talk to you soon.